How it goes everybody, in today's video we're going to start a new series called FAQs in under two. What we're going to do is go over our frequently asked questions that we tend to get either when we're getting a phone call or we're meeting a customer at one of our events. So stay tuned and we'll start that series right now. <laughs> Alright guys, so in the last video we talked about when you should have your cake and ice cream and your food at your event. To kind of stick with that sort of question, what we're going to answer today is about when you should even start your party. Last video we mentioned that you would want to start about a half an hour early um, in order to have your cake and ice cream. So if you're having a one o'clock start time event and you want to have cake and ice cream about a half an hour beforehand, you would want to start your party somewhere around 12.15 to 12 30. you want to give your guests some time to get there obviously but you also want to make sure that they're gonna have time to eat before we show up with the equipment so again if you have a one o'clock start time we would suggest about 30 to 45 minutes prior to that is when you would want to start your event you want to make sure that your guests are already there you don't want to waste some of your value and having some of the guests show up now you can't obviously control everybody showing up on time but if you give them that a half an hour uh, earlier start time get your cake and ice cream out of the way the guests will already be there when we arrive. We'll show up, we'll get that started, and as soon as it's your time to go, they'll get in the trailer and you're all set to go. All right guys, so if you have any other questions, please make sure that you check out our playlist right here. Um, we'll be adding some of our frequently asked questions to this playlist as we go. So make sure that you stay tuned for those if you have any more questions. All right guys, thank you.